שסטה שיף על הלאו אף קריפטו, אין קאפי. סובסקרייב אתם היוטוב צ'אנל קריפטו, אין קאפי. Today I want to introduce you to Balancer. This project came to my attention when I read a great article on Public Georex about the new trend of governments, governance token, I mean. So they, all the DeFi project, they want to implement governance token to decentralize the DeFi project or ecosystem to involve the community and stand to create a central point of figures. And they decide on themselves where the project might go. But with the involvement with the community, a governance token, uh, the more you have, the more you're going to, uh, to get. But the thing is, uh, the, the mechanism how to distribute um, the governance token is you, when you provide liquidity or they you provide uh, in the pool or depend on the project, they distribute with uh, mechanisms automatically. The more you, you provide, the more you're going to reward. It's like a mining, but you mine the governance token in the long run. And the, the great thing, the governance token have a value for the long run. So basically, I am in the main page of Balancer. So basically, what you need to understand, Balancer is a known custodial portfolio manager, liquidity provider, and price sensor. So you have the white paper and exchange. I'm going to I'm going to show you the uh, the white paper after that. So basically, this is the main interface. As you can see, you have um, you you log with your uh, wallet like um, Mito wallet. And they support you see your asset when you log. You see the guys who's like here you have Ethereum, DIE, and Maker. So basically, you you see your portfolio uh, when you on the smart contract. On this one is is equally distributed. Wag, you mean? So you see DIE, W, a representation of Bitcoin by Rapid into uh, Ethereum that we call WBTC, Ethereum, Omizigo. Dogecoin, uh, DGD, I don't know exactly what is that exactly, and WBDTC as, as well, 0x and RAP, and the smart contract and the fee, the pool swap fee, the MyPool share, the trade volume of this uh, portfolio, and the liquidity. This is important in the crypto sphere. When you trade, you want liquidity because otherwise it takes a long time to sell or buy your position and the representation of the amount and the portfolio. So basically, generalized AMM, customizable number of assets and WEG with the pool. Global liquidity, trade again, all pool and the balancer ecosystem for best prices, uh, for best price execution, sorry, and the smart pool. Pool controlled by smart contract can implement any arbitrary trading strategy or logic. So, so far so good. Easily swap ERC20 token exchange tokens without deposit, bid, ask, and other management all on chain. Simulated trade. Preview an expected trade price of two assets given existing liquidity and slippage. Smart order routing. Trade and split through an ASOR which perform and optimization across all pools for best price execution. Unstunnable interface front end are open source and will be made available to EPFS, trade any token without need for whitelisting or approval. So as well, they have another explanation on the main page, flexibility built into the base protocol, up to eight tokens, any ways and programmatically through smart contract on it pool. First one, private pool where only can have removed liquidity. Earn trading fee on top of CDIE and a rebalancing smart pool. Dynamic swap fee to adjust based on the hurdling volatility. Join a multiple token pool with a single asset. Adjust way continuously over time for dynamic strategies. Use balancing pool token within new pool for liquidity exposure. Frequently asked question view all. What is MMM? AMM, an automated, an automated market maker. It's a general term that defines an algorithm for creating and managing liquidity. 
Is Balancer decentralizing? Balancer make every effort be as trustless as possible. They are no admin control, upgradability, or shutdown built into the smart contract. What is the difference between Balancer and other MMA? Many existing AMM use a contract project. I don't know exactly this meaning. It's for me. It's too complicated. So go read that. I don't. I don't want to read the VW blah blah blah. So what is a Balancer useful? Instead of paying a fee to portfolio manager to rebalance your portfolio, you collect fees from traders who rebalance your portfolio. You can earn return by providing liquidity or as a trader swap between as any asset and the global liquidity. What are fee or an apu? Uh, what are fee or an apu? Balancer pools are charge a percentage of input among traded for each trade. The fee is customized by pool and goes unclearly to the pool liquidity provider. What are the risks? Balancer is a very new protocol. I'll show we are taking every precautious uh, precaution in doing extensive extensive audits. This is still very much a beta project. Use small amount of fun to start with. Great advice, I believe. So let's go jump to the main white paper. And out of the box, you read that the first introductions, table of content, everything is fine. And then present work, theory, very, very value function, and then mathematic, 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 mathematic. So forget about it. So this is a warning sign. So when you have a white paper with ambiguity, you don't feel confidence to invest. This is my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my spontaneous thought because this is a project that I came aware of and I want to investigate before to jump into it because, you know, I, it's not the first project I checked myself in the crypto spheres and I love to be transparent as much as possible. But this is a warning sign. So, hmm. If you don't understand wh why to make it complicated, why, when you write a white paper, you need to to write it for the uh, the wide audience out there to uh, be understand because not everyone uh, understand mathematic uh, like this and a big formula. You need to have a rocket science and PhD and mathematics just to understand the fundamental of what this project want to accomplish in the end. But anyway, this for me. Uh, yeah, they need to rework on this uh, important facet of this project, I believe. But for me, this is a warning sign. Balancing pool. This is the, um, the main interface. When you log with your... Uh, I am connected with my Miter wallet. And you, you can collect with this friend. They have a sharing pool and private pool. As you can see, you can see the asset on my my wallet here, but I don't. It's not a big amount of money, but you can see what you have on the wallet and the sherry pool here. This is a sherry pool, and they have a bunch of um, portfolio. I mean, it's all it. When you come for the first time on the main interface, it's not seamless. It's not uh, user friendly. You, you try to understand the fundamental. You understand here that on the left side that you, if you deposit one Ethereum, you're going to have a representation of one WETH the equivalence to be able to trade among all the pool out there. So you need to make a transaction from your own wallet directly to the wallet of um, uh, to trade internally into the, the HAP ecosystem. So I use, I can see, I can, I can convert my Ethereum here into WTH, but this is not a big amount of money I have in my wallet. It's just for sharing purpose. I will not to make a transaction because I'm not intend to use it personally because I don't find happening. I'm just sharing my instant talk and because I want them to understand. Sometimes it's great to, to share not all the good project, but what you think about the project you don't you doesn't make you doesn't like as well so my my spontaneous talk when i just come to this uh, pool this morning i'm going to show you another uh, interface of an interlay um of the morse uh, trading pool into uh, balancer here 
as you can see you can have the you have the, the section sharing pool private pool this is seem to be static and the right side this is the contract you know you have the smart contract uh, number here and you have the liquidity about 12 millions uh, trading volume zero dollars and the pool swap fee five zero point zero five and the way that is rep uh, represented into the pool of this one you see this one is represented with rpl with 90 percent weight and the representation of um, YPET ethereum 10 percent into the small contract but when you check that you want to you can probably you, you, you can uh, from my from my understanding or from the reading i i did you can have liquidity into the small contract and then connect fee if this uh, traders trade up among this pool but why they try to accomplish in the hand this is this is what i don't understand with this project so for me you check that you have different pool as you can see on the on this page and this page and i don't understand what the true um in the long-term vision of this project so for me that's that's no go for me this is the second sign that why i don't want to be involved with this project and the third part, another important that I wanted to uh, to talk about it, is the BAL balancer governance token. Because you know the compound introduces a way to a mechanism to mine the compound interest. But when you go to the compound, you understand that you can borrow and you can lend money and make interest. But when you go to balancer, they introduce as well uh, token to decentralize. Um, the protocol or the governments of this ecosystem to is because the, the philosophy of crypto is decentralized uh, a project so involve the community with no central point of failure so the aim or the visions with the balance and governance token is to decentralize and involve the community but they found a mechanism how to decentralize um, this project as well so basically what you need to understand since exemptions our goal at balancer lab has been to decentralize and diversify governance of the balancer protocol we have looking into several approaches and designs and have landed on a approach we are proud to share the balance balancer uh, protocol governance token bound so what you can do with uh, we believe alignment between token holders and protocol stakeholders is crucial for successful decentralized government. The more explicitly we believe BAL tokens are the vehicle to drive alignment and participant in the protocol. BAL tokens are not an investment. BAL token holders should be people that interface with the protocol in some way are committed to its future development and want to see in the governance token. But believe it or not, now we are in the speculative, speculate phase of the mining, uh, the, all the governance token and the DeFi space, like uh, Compound. Now is the second protocol I'm trying to evaluate. And this, like I say, I'm very straightforward, very transparent. This is not, I will not be involved with this project personally because I don't find it happening. Something, a warning sign, the total supply of PAL token will be 100 million. 25 million BAL tokens are initially allocated to funders, core dev, advisors, investors, now subject to investor. So one, 25 million of the, the big majority pool will be controlled by those uh, actors. And you see, you might, you create value and, uh, and this, uh, the pool is controlled by, they want a governance decentralized, but they control already 25% of the total pool right from the bat right from the bat in the story this is a running sign i think it's too much probably five or ten percent will be enough but 25 percent it's too much my friend and each week uh, they're going to release 145,000 baht or approximately 4.7.5 million barriers uh, for the people who mine it but now we are in the speculative phase and people is going to mine and provide liquidity just to receive this free token and dump it into the market. Believe it or not, this is what we we experience right now with the, the hype of uh, mining uh, governance token like Compound and uh, Balancer token or the bar. So just be careful, do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor, but 
Je, this is something personally I have I mentioned three things that I don't like about balancer project or the app in the De DeFi space. First, the um, the white paper, it's like you need to have a PhD in rocket science uh, to understand the true meaning what they want to accomplish. When it's too complicated, it's better just to move away. Second thing, the interface of the DHAP, I don't know, I, I don't find appealing. I not understand exactly what they want to accomplish. Uh, the average Joe going to be there, he will not understand how to interact with the smart contract protocol because on the interim, you need to have every transaction need to have a cost. So if you want to send your Ethereum to the blue and convert it to the blue WBTC, uh, WETH, like I mean, the version, the representation of the Ethereum, you will need to pay a gas fee and stuff like that, and enter uh, and to in interact internally and to the smart contract of this ecosystem of uh, balancer. So the interface of uh, the DHAB, I don't like it at all because I don't know, I, I cannot understand right from the back. And the third part, uh, to have a control right from the bat, 25% of the total pool uh, is too much from my point of view. So this is the three major points. Right, I, I just share my spontaneous talk. And that's the reason I, will, I love to share what I found right from the bat. Uh, to, because I just started to dig about it yesterday. And tomorrow morning, I decided to talk about it on a vlog. And I did as well uh, my first podcast with the bad answer. Uh, probably a lot for the speculative phase, but a lot of people are going to make uh, some money with this phase. But per, for me, I don't find this project happening. But do your own research, probably you're going to find it and you're going to see uh, this project from your own point of view, your own vision, and you will find probably interesting and you will you will dig into it and invest your own money. But for me, it's not, it's no way to go. At any time, if you like what I'm doing, Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Crypto and Coffee on YouTube, and come visit my outstanding website, SheSatashi.com. And see you on the next video, and have a great day ahead, my friend. Ciao, ciao.